my mother literally, she, she makes fun of me every time I do my introductions, so it messed me up. I don't know what I was going to say. I am making... Butternut squash puree without the butternut squash because it's apparently out of season. So I'm using, shut up mom, I'm using six sweet potatoes because Omar said that that should work. It should give me the same taste. I'll explain to you guys when you're watching in a little bit. This is a horrible introduction. Thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so honestly, we could not find butternut squash anywhere. So I have six um, sweet potatoes peeled, which Omar said hopefully it will be a good substitute for what he made. And um, it should work out. As you can see, I have the recipe here on the computer. He linked me to it. So I'm just going to follow everything, you know, down here, minus the butternut squash, um, because I do not have that. So hopefully this works out. If not, I mean, it's fun to still experiment and to see if things will turn out the way that you want them to. And if not, we could do it again. So the next step is to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And uh, then I'm going to put it into a baking sheet. Okay, here's the thing. The recipe calls also for two garlic cloves. The problem is, is I don't know if this is like one clove or if like one of the things in here is a garlic clove, but they have to be crushed. But I like garlic, so I'm just gonna use this whole thing and pretend I'd like, you know, one clove is one of the things on each. I, I don't know. I could call and ask Omar, but since I'm experimenting and having fun, even if this is a complete fail, I'm just gonna do what I want. So the recipe calls for two garlic cloves smashed. We don't own a cutting board here. Don't know why. I'm not home with Omar where he has like all this stuff. So I've seen him smash them before with a knife. That's what I'm going to do. Which probably isn't safe to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe if I just step on it like... Why are you supposed to cut it? Well it says smash it. That's my sister in the background guys. Okay what if I use a seasoning bottle? Don't judge me. Nope. How do I smash you? How to smash, that's the question. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. If I assert force, like the strong black female that I am, I can... There we go. Voila. Okay, so now that I got the garlic and the... Um, virgin olive oil in the pan. I'm going to add sea salt, ground black pepper, and what is this? Garlic and herb, which the recipe does not call for that, but I'm just going to do it anyway because I like garlic. Hey guys, my name is Raven and I'm Teray's sister. And basically I'm just going to mix it all up now. Hi, I'm Ava, Therese's other sister, and the recipe calls for to put little by little of the potatoes into the blender and alternate it with the brown butter until it is all done. Wait. Should we have more butter? That's not even blending. Come on. I guess I'll have to <laughs> stir it or spin it. What? It's just all, it's pushing it all to the side. I know. Do I need more? Okay, come on. Maybe you should just pour the whole thing. Yeah, uh, I'll just pour the whole thing. I mean, basically the recipe says that all the potatoes will be incorporated with Gosh. the butter. So it's going in. The countertop's been cleaned, guys, so don't freak out. Eventually this has to start winding <laughs> if it doesn't, like fly out of the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is wrong with the... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to figure out how to fix this and then we'll be back. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically... <laughs> we're going to use a cup 
and smash them as much as we can and then we'll try to put them back in the blender hopefully then obviously it won't fly out don't know why I said obviously because it might still fly out all right so we're gonna try again hopefully this works I am not a professional cook okay Omar is the professional he's probably gonna die laughing once he actually watches this Actually, guys, we got it to start blending. That is great. I'm going to add parsley flakes because the recipe does call for that. However, I do not have this open, so yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> guys, look what happened. It is everywhere. It is on my feet. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, this, this whole thing has been a disaster. You guys have no idea how done I am with this recipe. I am over it. There are still chunks in here. You know, I, I don't care. At this point, I would only have this like every Valentine's Day when Omar makes it or I don't know. Like I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to continue going through this. This is terrible. But it tastes extremely amazing. So I guess in the end, it's okay. It tastes really good, although it's chunky. I do not mind, but it actually tastes exactly the way, like the way Omar makes um, his with the butternut squash. So, <sighs> oh my God. Uh, anyway, I'm done with this for now. Um, you guys will see the rest of the dinner for, well, after this clip. Bye. I have never actually seared a steak before, but I've seen Omar do it plenty of times.